So having been developing in this space for over five years, I've got to tell you that I'm absolutely blown away by Solana's ingenuity and what they've provided. I've been spending days going through Solana's documentation and any other documentation outside of Solana related to that blockchain. And the reason why I'm so interested in Solana is because, as you know, here at Crypto Wizards, you know, we are a bunch of retail quants and retail traders who are pushing to gain an edge in any way that we can think of. And we even have a platform that allows us to do that, uh, which is fantastic. You know, we, we spoke in the last video, we've achieved a lot, we've done very well, we've come very far. Um, but, you know, we've done that without needing anyone else's money, really. And so, you know, what I want to say here, though, is I think there's a time where it makes sense to actually ask for some money. And I'm actually asking Solana for some money. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you why. And the reason why I want to tell you why. And the reason why is because not only would I benefit from your feedback, but my bet is that folk who are assessing this grant application will probably look for your feedback as well. And therefore, you know, for the right outcome to happen, we need to be very honest. And so what I'm going to ask from you is, you know, if you are somebody who's watching this video end to end, please put a comment to say whether you think this is a terrible idea, whether it's flawed, or whether it, there's actually any meat to it, and whether you think this is a really good idea, and especially if this is something that you'd like to work on, um, because this will be open sourced. And, you know, it will be led by myself and probably someone else um, in terms of the engineering and the outcome and the testing. So I want to develop something for traders that doesn't exist. And the blockchain allows it to exist, except we couldn't really do it up until now, because other blockchains, in my opinion, aren't really fit for the purpose, but Solana actually is. And the reason is that low cost for traders is extremely important. And I've covered the reasons and the maths behind that in the courses. So a lot of you who have done the Udemy courses will know why that is. The maths is important. So low cost is really important. Speed is a weapon. And I think speed for the blockchain in general is extraordinarily important um, because we need less friction. You know, just because something's on the blockchain doesn't mean we'll move to it. It needs to actually operate and work and have an advantage better than what we use in the, let's call it the real world infrastructure outside of say Web3, etc. And so, you know, I've come up with an idea that I want to share with you here. And it's something I want to work on. You can read it on screen if you want to, you know, as I'm sort of talking. But this is essentially the, uh, the application, right? This is what I'm writing over to Solana. So what I'm saying is Solana offers something called PDAs, right? These are like automatic programs. So Solana doesn't work like, say, Ethereum. Um, it doesn't hold data on the smart contract, otherwise known as the program. It has other folders or known as accounts that hold that data in it. And so you can have programs that are automatically given signing power by the user to execute things on your behalf. And so just to summarize what that actually means in English is if you needed something to act like an escrow, you have something that can act like an escrow. And by the way, you can do that today on Ethereum. The reason why something that can act like an escrow is important is for settlement. And settlement is really important for trading. And because we have something that can move cheaper, faster and better than any other blockchain, and allows for extremely good settlement and execution, because we have that now with Solana, I feel we haven't capitalized on it for traders. And that's exactly what I'm looking to do here. So one of the things you'll know I'm big on is options trading. You know, I believe that we can gain an edge as retail traders in win rates. We've seen that time and time again, I've shown you all sorts of strategies on this channel, and also in courses that show, you know, dramatically positive win rates. But executing on them is very difficult because we don't have the vehicles available to do that. What vehicle I'd like to bring, so what instrument I should say I'm looking to bring to the market is what I'm going to call a fair binary option. Binary options in the real world are a complete con. In fact, they are designed for you to lose money. And the maths for you to lose all your money is pretty much 100%. But a fair binary option is quite the opposite. 
this is where really this is a very disruptive instrument. Um, I would I would go as far as to admit that right now. This is going to be a very disruptive uh, instrument in the financial markets because what it's going to do is allow us to create our own binary options based on Oracle prices on the blockchain and place bid and ask orders, limit orders via the blockchain. And this, by the way, will also decrease the uh, amount of spoofing that will happen because there's always a tiny cost, uh, even on Solana for placing a transaction, right? So placing a limit order on the bid or the ask will go on the blockchain. There'll be a tiny cost for that, but will also allow market orders so people will be able to to place a limit order to to put their uh, funds into, say, an escrow type contract and to allow or program and to allow a user to come on and place a market order to accept those odds for a certain outcome. So to put that again in plain English or better in plain English, let's say that you want to uh, make money if the price of Solana goes up you will be able to say, right, I will stake, you know, um, whatever stable coin, USDC or whatever, I will stake $10 that, you know, Solana in the next one day or one hour or one year will be higher than today's price. Otherwise, you lose your stake. And so this is very much like an options trade. And if you are right, then you will gain the odds that you bet at. So let's say that the ratio of uh, payout was, um, let's call it one to one. All right. So this would be in decimals two. And so let's say you bet $10 and you were right, you'd make $10 back in profit. Now you'd make slightly less because there would have been the trading cost, which is why Solana is so important to do this with, but nothing near the costs that you see in actual options markets uh, out there, right? And the prices of these options and these contracts or programs would be set by the user via the front end website, right? So they would click a button to say, create a market that creates, say, a, a market to bet against Bitcoin or for Bitcoin or Solana or whatever. So you create a market and then others can add their limit orders to your limit orders or compete against you in that market, right? So the markets could be created by anyone, any interested party, and probably there'll be a reward um, baked in for somebody who creates that market. Just a small incentive, you know, to create a market, say 0.01% of the trading outcome or whatever will go to the market maker, right? The person who created the market. And the idea here is that you can create any market and people can vote with their own wallets uh, and put bid and ask orders um, onto that contract for market um, aggressive market buyers or sellers to come in and actually place their orders. Because those are traders, those are people who might want to hedge or are speculating, or have say used crypto wizards um, as a tool and found a percentage probability that something will happen. And they want to capitalize on that. Or they just want to arbitrage against the real world and bring liquidity because of that. Naturally, that's going to bring liquidity into crypto and the blockchain. So the idea here is to let prices be set by you. And to let it become a fair market where Solana acts as the middleman, right? There is no exchange. Solana is the exchange. And therefore, you cut out a middleman and you cut out a ton of fees. But not only that, you let the market decide the pricing. And if it gets the pricing wrong, arbitration will happen, right? People who do arbitrage like me will come in and capitalize on that mispricing, therefore making the pricing better. And so the idea here is to create an entirely new instrument. Um, and this is called a fair binary option. And this would be done through Solana. So how would the money be spent? Well, the first thing is, even though I've been spending absolute ridiculous amount of hours learning Solana, it's actually quite complex for someone coming from Python and React. Uh, I do know some Rust. I'm not finding the Rust part that tricky. Um, so Rust is okay. And learning Rust is actually great. The documentation is nothing short of spectacularly fantastic. Um, but it's actually very difficult to to really understand how this works from the ground up. And also, 
you know, we need to be careful because you don't want somebody amateur designing the architecture for something that people are going to put their money into, right? You need to know, number one, it's going to be secure and safe. So the first idea is to get the experts involved, right? People don't work for free. Um, sometimes they do, but to get experts involved to give uh, consulting and direction around the architecture. What is the architecture? So this is taking what's known as a double diamond approach, which I learned at Unilever. Um, double diamond, the first diamond is design the right thing. And then the second diamond is build the thing right. So essentially what we're looking to do is design the right thing. That's where you get the experts involved to help you come up with the architecture. And then that guidance of that architecture will be given out to the community to say, all right, let's go and build it. Um, you know, I would be organizing regular team calls on the development of this project uh, and to talk around, you know, tasks and actions and who can work on what and when. Um, because I just think it's, it's going to be really important to have some coordination. I myself will also be developing on it, right? I love developing. So naturally, I'm going to be partaking in that. Um, and then to testing, and this is where the crypto wizards community would, you know, really come into play here. So we would essentially need crypto wizards, um, traders to come in and on DevNet, uh, use the website that we create, right? So you won't, you won't need to interact with the blockchain itself. This will all be just done on a React website or whatever, where you will click the buttons, you know, create a market, place a trade. Did you make money? Yes or no. And so I'd be looking for volunteers here from the channel to come in and actually test this stuff. Um, the cool thing about Solana is you can actually upgrade programs. So you can make it so a program can't be changed, but you can also keep it so it can. So you can make enhancement and upgrade. So we would do that on DevNet. And probably once we have the final thing and it's working and it's tested over a period of a week or two, then we can launch our, our MVP onto mainnet. Um, and I say MVP because I don't want that to be amendable. I want this to be a program which cannot be changed, right? It should just work. Um, and maybe we give it a week or two to allow for changes, but then it gets cemented in stone. Now, in terms of incentive, what's my incentive for doing this? Um, there really is no incentive in terms of I'm not going to be looking to take any financial. Um, I'm not going to be looking to create any token on the back of this that, you know, means appreciation for investors and blah, 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 because I believe that that's actually what's hurting crypto. Um, I believe that that's what, what's actually uh, creating the wrong incentive for us to re really cause real world change. So, you know, my view to doing this is to do it in such a way where there is no pricing incentive baked in it for myself or you or anyone. The incentives are given to the people that create the markets and the rewards are given to the traders because that's why they're trading is for that reward. So how about we just let them have that? Um, I do think that this is a seriously disruptive suggestion because if we make this work, what we prove is that there's actually a better platform and a better um, infrastructure to trade on. And because there's no gain and because no one owns it, everybody owns it. And so that is hugely disruptive. I'm not looking to disrupt the establishment. I have no interest in that. But I do believe that, you know, technology can be used for good, just like fire. You can use it to cook or you can use it to burn things down. Crypto is a technology, right? And so Solana's provided us with the technology. My view is we should use it for good here. And if people in the establishment uh, who are capitalizing seriously on the current world uh, or the current regime of stealing a lot of money from traders, if they're upset by that, well, then my view is tough shit. Um, you know, get with the program. And so this for me is the program. This is something I feel very passionate about. Can we develop trading instruments uh, on a decentralized exchange, which nobody owns yet everybody owns, um, but to do it centered around uh, options outcomes rather than making money as things go up or down, right? Can we do it based on saying, hey, if Bitcoin stays within this price range, um, I'm willing to give up, you know, X amount of money um, and then to, to have people create limit uh, bid and ask orders against that and to have their orders matched with real traders, right? We're creating a real exchange, but the only difference is that nobody's capitalizing on that. 
um, other than the community themselves. And in addition to that, the instrument has changed, right? It suits options traders. It makes options trading really basic and easy for everyone. And therefore, it actually lowers the risk to trading if you know what you're doing. So that's the pitch. Um, I hope that made sense to you. I'm now going to go and submit this. So let's hit submit and tell Google what are bicycles. I can't even see this, by the way. Like, are there any bicycles in this picture? Skip, there, there are no bicycles. All right, and tell Google what, you know, the traffic lights are. <laughs> and there we go. We've applied for the grant. So, you know, we'll receive a confirmation email and let's see what happens. Let's see if anything comes out of that. Uh, regardless, thank you for your support. Please put your view of this or your ideas in the comments and I will be sharing it with the Solana uh, Foundation. So thanks very much. Until the next video, take care and talk soon.